Hello ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls of all ages, Pank and Monkey back again with another video of Singles Bojangles. Alright, so I was able to pick up some cards from a couple of sellers locally and yeah, let me just um, unbox them for you and we can share in the delight of opening some singles. Okay, so this is from one seller which I had actually purchased from, I don't know, way back when, maybe in um, August or September. I forget it was so it's been a while um, and uh, I didn't have any other cards to add so I decided okay just to ship this There's just a few here um, but let's see what we get are they any good or not right so I think there's some chaff here okay let's get through the chaff first that would be um, galvanic juggernaut okay biomathematician and Galadrim Bow Ooh, from Lord of the Rings, okay. And then I think we also have some Chaff AB3 at the bottom. So we have a Token Pirate, that's over there. Arcane Infusion from Midnight Hunt. And Seize the Storm from the same um, set. Okay, so what we get? We have a Curse of the Restless Dead. So this is a 3 to cast curse enchant player whenever a land enters the battlefield under a chant player's control you create a 2-2 black zombie creature token with decay so i do have a cursed deck uh which is um, um what's her name i call her the witch bitch uh lind the cheerful tormentor if i'm not mistaken so i got this for for her to just add more curses fortunately there there are only a few good curses right now that have been released um, so, you know, getting um, the number, the right number of curses for a cursed deck. Uh, I, I think right now I only have like 18 or 19, should be maybe 25, 27-ish, um, so that you can get a lot of synergy from that, but uh, not a lot of these curses are any good, so hopefully this one would, would slot in into that particular deck. Next we have Kotori, Pilot Prodigy, this is a mythic from the Kamigawa uh, Neon Dynasty set from the Commander set specifically um, where for 3 mana you can cast a 2-4 legendary Moonfolk pilot vehicles you control have crew 2 um, so this allows you to sort of cheat out uh, the crew requirements and at the beginning of combat on your turn target artifact creature control gains life and, and vigilance until end of turn that's pretty good okay so that's a nice mythic over there let's, let's put this away uh, and next we have a Maestro's Ascendancy, so it's a 3 to cast enchantment um, in Mardu, well, uh, Mardu Colors, I think. Once during each of your turns, you may cast an instance or sorcery spell from your graveyard by sacrificing a creature in addition to paying its other costs. If a spell cast this way would be put into your graveyard, exile that instead. Alright. Okay, and then we have Wing Shards. So this might be, oh, not chaff, because it looks like I got two copies of that. Um, and then we got a Bludgeon Brawl. Um, three to cast enchantment. Each non-creature, non-equipment artifact is an equipment with Equip X, where Equip creature gets X plus zero, where X is artifacts convert mana cost. So for artifact matters decks, where you will also want to change your non-equipment artifacts into uh, equipments then this this is it. Pretty good card, but very narrow. Let me see if I can slot this in into my my um, what's her face, my Joy deck, the uh, the one where you can tap to cheat out um, artifacts from your from your hand. So that's pretty good. And then lastly, we have a Magma Quake. So X spell and two red. Mag Magma Quake deals X damage to each creature without flying and each planeswalker. So just a board wipe. Okay, so that's it right now from one seller. Um, this one I picked up uh, just earlier this week and I think this would contain some good cards, but it's packed really well in this sorcery booster pack, which I'm not too familiar with. Um, so let's try to open this pack and share with you some of the treasures that I picked up on this one. Okay. Oh, this is packed pretty well. OK, 
Okay, once we do that, then we can open the sides. Here we go. I can't um, force it because it's packed so, packed so tightly that I might um, destroy the cards inside. So maybe I can find a way to open this up. I'm just trying to check for any implements here that I can use to open up this uh, pack. Give me a second. Yeah, I think I have scissors somewhere here. Hold on, folks. All right, here we go. So I picked up the scissors. Hopefully I don't damage the cards inside. So doing it very gingerly. There you go. And voila, there you go. Nice. Okay, so let's see what we get here in this pack. Who goes to the seller? This is packed really well. Okay, so I think we might have some chaff here and chaff here. Okay, so for the chaff, we have a playset of Seagate Oracle. Okay, put that over there. Um, so commons, uncommons, rares, and mythics down here. Okay, so first one in, we have a Guardian Augmenter. So this is a three to cast um, troll wizard. Flash, commander creatures you control get plus two plus two and commanders you control have hex proof. So I think this is actually a pretty good card um, to protect your commander. So I get two of that. Next, I get a Zoprandle Hunger Dominus. So this is a seven to cast Correction Horror with Reach, Power Toughness 4, 6. At the beginning of each combat, double the power and toughness of each creature you control until end of turn. Then you can pay 2 Correction Green Mana, sacrifice to other creatures, put an indestructible counter on Zoprandal Hunger, Dominus. Nice mythic there. Another mythic coming up is Ronas the Indomitable. So 3 to cast God, Death Touch, Indestructible, 5-5. Five, five. Ronas Indomitable can't attack or block unless you control another creature with power four or greater. Um, then you can pay three, another creature, target creature gets plus two plus zero and gains trample until end of turn. Next, we have a containment grafter. So this is a Phyrexian Druid five to cast five five with trample and toxic one. So a lot of words here. Whenever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage to one or more players, proliferate. Okay, that's good. And corrupted at the beginning of your end step. If an opponent has three or more poison counters to draw a card. Then you may put a land card from your hand onto the battlefield. Well, that's, that's a pretty good card. Mm, I do have one deck that is um, a uh, infect deck. Uh, this might be a you know something that I can put in there. Okay, we have another mythic coming up. This time it's Zimone and Dina. Um, I do have a Dina deck that I use quite fondly. Um, where it is really um, aristocrat deck. So green, blue, and black. Uh, human Dryad, whenever you draw your second card each turn, target opponent loses two life and you gain two life. Tap, sacrifice another feature, draw a card. You may put a land card from your hand onto the battle to tap. If you control eight or more lands, repeat this process once. Okay, that's cool. So uh, that's a mythic. Next, we get a. Rashmi and Ragavan. Okay, so one green, blue, and red. We have a legendary elf monkey, 2 4. Whenever you cast your first spell during each of your turns, exile the top card of target opponent's library and create a treasure token. Then you may cast exile card without paying its mana cost if it's a spell with mana value less than the number of artifacts you control. If you don't cast it this way, you may cast it this turn. Cool. So either you have enough artifacts to be able to cast your opponent's spell 
without paying mana cost, or you can pay mana to cast it. Okay, nice card. Next, we have a Guardian Scale Lord. Um, so, 5 to cast Dragon 3 4 with backup 1 flying. Whenever this creature attacks, return target non land permanent card with mana value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield where X is that creature's power. Okay, so another dragon. Next, we have Bitterhorn, Nisus Animus. So, this is actually pretty cool. 3 to cast equipment, living weapon, equipped creature gets 1 1. However, Whenever a good creature attacks you may search your library for a basic land card, put it in the battlefield tap, and shuffle. Pick up for three. So it ramps you. Okay, then we have a mythic coming up. That would be Shalai and Halar. So it's a nice borderless foil. Um, four to cast Naya and one. Three three angel elf with flying vigilance. Whenever one or more one more counters are put on a creature you control. Shalai and Halar deals that much damage to target opponent. So this is a counters strategy commander. Um, this is actually pretty good and I can see building a deck around this. Um, definitely something that I will look forward to building. And we get another mythic. It's Kalamax's Storm Sire. I do have a Kalamax deck which I got um, one of the first pre cons I, when I got back into Magic. Um, yeah, I picked this up. This is a foil borderless version from special guest coming from uh, Lost Caverns of Ixalan and pick this up to refresh the face commander. Cool. Next we have a foil borderless Tarion Soul Cleaver for one um, mana to cast legendary equipment. Um, a good creature has vigilance whenever another artifact creature is put in the graveyard from the battlefield put a 1-1 counter on the creature for two. So I'm thinking of putting this on say my Prosper um, uh, deck where you can attach this to Prosper since you're cycling through a lot of treasures uh, Prosper himself will become a deadly target uh, which is cool because he also has death touch so it becomes a, um, a threat from the offensive side and he becomes an even bigger uh, defensive uh, player so that's cool next we have a showcase borderless Skullpore Nexus which is kind of like mm, the Great Henge, sort of. Uh, so six and green green to cast, legendary artifact. Spell costs X less to cast, where X is the greatest power among creatures you control, kind of like Great Henge. Whenever one or more non-token creatures you control die, create a green fungus dinosaur creature token with base power and toughness, each equal to the total power of those creatures. And you can pay two tap double target power, target creatures power until end of turn. So this is actually pretty good. Um, support for my dinosaur deck. Uh, so I, I did buy the pre-con Patlaza and um, definitely is, is a auto include for that. Another mythic would be Donal, Herald of Wings. I think this is coming from the commander of Baldur's Gate, I think. So for the cast, Human Wizard 3-3, whenever you cast a non-legendary creature spell with flying, you may copy it, except the copy is a 1-1 spirit in addition to its other types. Do this only once each turn. So it's a um, flying matters yeah, command, maybe. And lastly, we have a regal behemoth. No, she's second to last card. Uh, showcase art borderless coming from Commander Masters. So um, one of an upgrade to an existing to, to the Pantlaza deck, where I'll upgrade the, the regal behemoth. So I think initially this was like. Lizard, right? But then it got errated to dinosaur, so that, that's pretty good. And then lastly, we have Vivian, uh, Champion of the Wilds. Um, I picked this up specifically for the Pantlaza deck because um, the Discover mechanic allows you to um, use it once each turn, so including your opponent's turns. So if you have this in place, you can actually cast uh, dinosaurs uh, on your opponent's turns and be able to get more bang for the buck on that Discover. All right, so pretty cool cards. A couple of good mythics, um, several nice um, um, rares here as well, and then you just chaff on the um, uh, on the commons and uncommons. All right, so thanks for joining this one. I hope you enjoyed this uh, singles bow jingles episode, and I'll catch you on the next one. Take care. Bye bye.